Hey class, and welcome to the Reading Circle Graphs tutorial. Why do I want you to know how to do this? Well, some data in the real world is shown in a circle graph. It's also known as a pie chart. So we need to be able to read it to understand. So whether it's uh, in the newspapers or on the internet or on TV, sometimes you'll be presented information that looks like this. And so you need to be able to read it to figure it out. So I'm going to start off just with looking at benchmark uh, fractions just so you have an idea of what they look like. So uh, this circle is divided into two, right? And one is shaded in, so this is a half. You probably figured that one out. This is divided into three and one's colored in, so it's a third. This is, is divided into four and one's colored in, so it's one quarter. Uh, this is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, and one's colored in, so it's one sixth. And this is divided into eight and one's colored in, so one-eighth. So one-eighth looks like that. It's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a, a half of what a quarter would look like. One-sixth looks like that, and it's also a half of what a third would look like, right? And if I put it chopped it down to the middle, it would look like a sixth there, right? Uh, a quarter, which is also half of a half, right? And a third and a half. So we're using this information and just understanding what a, each fraction looks like to help us answer this question. So let's get into the question. 80 students were asked uh, the question, what is your favorite sport? The data was shown in a circle graph. What can we learn from this graph? So here's the graph right here labeled favorite sport. And so let's try to uh, get what we learned from this graph. So green is always color coded, right? Uh, sometimes there'll be patterns also inside, but in this case it's color. So green represents hockey, purple represents lacrosse, orange is basketball, and yellow is soccer. So by taking a look here, uh, I can kind of figure out a few things. I'm just going to slip my uh, information in because I'm not the quickest writer with the pen. And so what I could figure out is this, that the most popular sport, I always try to find the one with the largest amount, the most popular sport is hockey, right? The green's hockey here. Uh, I also figured out, because these are the smallest areas, uh, the least popular sports are basketball and soccer, because they're the smallest. I also can figure out that the same amount of people said basketball and soccer, because they are the same amounts. And I'm just kind of extending here. Maybe the class was in Canada. Uh, why do I say that? Well, because hockey is very famous or very popular in Canada. And around other parts of the world, soccer is actually called football, so maybe that would be uh, another hint too. So now that we know how to do that, uh, sometimes we'll be asked to figure out how many students in particular answered something or said something or how many. So we can figure this out because we know that 80 students were actually asked the question. So let's figure this out. Hockey, now we're getting back to the fractions here. Hockey, we can take a look and it's a half. A half of the people said hockey and this looks like a quarter, right? So one quarter said lacrosse and this is half of a quarter, so one eighth said basketball and one eighth said soccer, right? That's supposed to be an eight, you can't, might not be able to see that. So let's figure it out. Half of 80, right? So half, we said one half and 80 students said it, so half of 80. Uh, you might be able to figure out that it's 40, but I could also do 80, take the amount, and divide it by the denominator, 2. 80 divided by 2 equals 40. Okay, so let's do the same thing. 80 students, and we're going to divide it by the denominator, 4. Oops, that's supposed to be 80 equals, so how many people said lacrosse? 80 divided by 4 is 20. Same thing. 80 students divided by 8 equals 10. And 80 students divided by 8. Sorry, the, uh, the pen's not joins a lot of dots here. Equals 10. So 40 students said hockey, 20 students said lacrosse, 10 students said basketball, and 10 students said soccer. We can always double check because if we add them up, 40 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 equals 80 and that's the amount of students. So there you go in under four minutes and two seconds to spare how to read circle graphs. Good luck.